If you own a Mitsubishi, then check out Rossport. I get almost all of my Stevo parts from Rossport. They provide a large selection of aftermarket and OEM parts, and they're at very competitive prices. The parts get to you as quick as possible, and that's why I've always used Rossport. Check out the link in the description. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working again on Steve or the Evo and we're going to be doing the rod job in today's video. Now I'm in the UK, so the UK consists of four countries and I'm actually in Wales. Wales has just gone into a full lockdown, so that means two things. Firstly, I've got an excuse to cut my own hair, as you can see, and secondly, I've got a lot of time now to work on Stevo, so we're going to be getting those uh, the rod job done in today's video. Now, some people have contacted me from the States saying they've never heard of a rod job, why am I doing a rod job instead of a traditional engine build. Um, I will be explaining everything in a future video, and let me just assure you it's not cutting corners, and for a lot of reasons it's actually um, better for the power goals that I have, um, and I do... Actually, I'm not going to talk too much about that. We'll talk about that in the other video. So the process is pretty simple. We've got to undo the comrod caps on the factory comrods. We've got to remove the piston and the rod through the top of the block. The caps go through the bottom. Then we've got to fit the forged bridgeway comrods, which are actually fit to some Evos from the factory. Um, so we're basically doing like a factory upgrade. Um, and then we're going to put it all back in plastic gauge the bottom uh, bottom end bearing clearances then once it all is hopefully within spec we're going to reinstall it all properly with ACL race bearings and some uh, assembly lube so not a massive massive job uh, when we rebuilt the Celica engine that was huge the shrapnel got everywhere and every single little part of that engine had to be touched um, whereas this is a breeze in comparison to that Celica rebuild so that's enough talking, let's get to it. Okay, so we're at a point now where I'm gonna be removing the piston and comrods out of Stevo. Now the plan is to um, basically undo the bolts, take the caps out the bottom, if they'll fit, and then push the piston and comrod through the top. Um, so we're gonna be cleaning off the surfaces of those pistons. Now I know there's a little bit of a color difference. I did clean that one with brake cleaner just to see what would happen. But uh, yeah, we're gonna clean them now with a bit of degreaser and some shop rags. Um, and then I'm gonna write the numbers of the pistons on, um, just so that the pistons can go back into the proper bores, because we really don't wanna mess those, mess those pistons up. Pistons two and three have been marked, and I've popped them out. And then the rod caps, basically. Got the rod caps at the bottom. Then I put a bolt back into the comrod on a big extension and a, and a socket. And I just push the extension up then, so um, you know I could be sure then I'm not going to sort of hit anything, and uh, they've slid out. So should be just a case of grabbing this, and out it comes. There's no going back now. <laughs> So I just got to rotate the crankshaft now and that'll push the piston one and four all the way up. Um, just a little look down there if you're curious. It's, uh, it's all looking pretty good. There's no um, nothing to be concerned about. There are little bits of wear marks here and there, but they usually say if you can feel it with your fingernail then it's too deep and I can't feel anything with my fingernail. So it's looking healthy so far. Um, so yeah, pretty good. Just got to now rotate the crankshaft and uh, we'll take out the other pistons.
the factory spread was almost six grams coming out. Um, the closest I can get is 0.9 grams matching Conrod's to Lightest Conrod's Heavy's Piston. Uh, the closest spread is 0.9 grams. That's perfectly acceptable to go ahead, but uh, I plan to push the boost up and the RPM on Stevo, so I want it to be as balanced as I can get it. So what I'm actually gonna do is now remove a little bit of metal from some of the Conrod's and the Pistons. This is, a, this is a common thing when building engines, people who uh, want to balance the engine for performance, uh, that's, that's a common thing. So we're going to try and get them to within 0.1 gram, um, so it should be pretty easy. we just got to remove a little bit of metal, there's certain parts of the piston and the comrod where it's safe to do so. job's complete. Now while the rod job itself will not increase power, um, it will actually allow the engine to make more torque and therefore more power safely. So um, we've basically increased the torque limit by about a third um, by fitting those comrods so we hit the next weakest link which will probably be the cylinder sleeves. Not only that, I did balance the comrods and pistons. Now each comrod and piston assembly I weighed as they came out and one and two were six grams heavier than three and four. Now it's not supposed to be like that. It is within factory spec, but uh, if we're gonna be pushing the revs, uh, we wanna get them as balanced as possible. Um, and just the last thing really I wanna mention in this video, I will be talking about why I've gone for a rod job as opposed to a full engine build in the next video. So uh, stay tuned, consider subscribing so you see that video, and also be sure to like this video if you're interested in the build because it will help the videos to get promoted. Cheers guys, and I'll see you in the next one.